Hi, my name is Wayne Headland, and today we're going to talk about Asana, my tasks. In particular, we're going to talk about what I would consider to be one of the most efficient and effective ways to use my tasks in order to make sure that you are in control of the lists of the tasks of the things that you need or want to do. Now, before I kind of dive in and show you uh, how I think we want to use this, I just want to use an illustration for a moment. You know, most of us know what it is to go to the grocery store and get the things that we need to get from the grocery store. Most of us also know uh, what will happen if we choose to go to the grocery store without first creating at least a very basic list. If I just go to the grocery store, especially if I'm hungry and, you know, I'm pushing that cart down the, the various aisles in the grocery store, eventually I'm going to have that cart filled with all kinds of things. Uh, also, it can be very difficult to go to the grocery store and find things when I don't even know what I'm looking for or when I don't know the specifics of what I'm looking for. And so grocery shopping can be very frustrating if we don't have things organized, triaged and planned well. And in a sauna environment, it's very similar. There are so many tasks and activities that are demanding our attention that sometimes we can get overwhelmed. There are things that are due, you know, in weeks or in days or maybe that are overdue. Tasks that have been given to us that in the, in the wide range and the scheme of things aren't really that important, but at some point in time they need to get done. And those are mixed in with tasks that are critically important and they're going to take a lot of my time and energy. And so I end up spending a lot of time similar to being at the grocery store, trying to figure out what my to do list is supposed to be. Um, what my shopping list is supposed to be, as it were. So we're going to look at Asana, and Asana has created some methods and ways that we can really set it up so that we are in control and that Asana works for us. Uh, instead of us working so hard at trying to make Asana work for us, Asana is going to work for us. So let's go ahead and dive in and see uh, how, how we can do this. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to jump into uh, my friend Fred Flintstone who works at a company and, and we're seeing here his My Tasks. Of course, everyone hopefully understands by now if you're watching this, My Tasks is where every task that has ever been or ever will be assigned to you individually is going to show up. It's only going to show tasks for the employee who is signed in. I cannot see other people's tasks that are assigned to them in my my tasks space. Okay, so right now I'm signed in or logged in as my friend, friend Fred. I'm going to come over here very quickly and explore. So we've got showing incomplete tasks. We can group our tasks or we can sort. A lot of people like to group our tasks by due date. This is actually, in my opinion, it can work uh, for at a, at a you know really quick moment. But the problem with the sorting by due date, first of all, I'm still stuck having to look at a bunch of things on my to-do list that aren't important to me. I might see something that you know maybe uh, I don't really care about and I have to like filter through it. The second thing is, is any task that does not have a due date is really not going to show up on this list. I'd have to scroll down at the bottom and maybe I'd be able to find it somewhere. But ultimately, I, I'm, this is not really the most efficient or effective way to, to organize. Uh, sometimes people will sort by project. And this can be very helpful to be able to see the tasks that are given to me in various projects. But again, I, I can't really very quickly and easily sort them. Now, uh, I can see the due dates, etc., but I'm not able to say, what do I want to work on today? What's today's to-do list? Incidentally, as well, at least as of the time of this video, um, if you sort by project, uh, keep in mind that, it, that sorting by project is not going to show any subtasks. So you see all these uh, tasks here are showing up in the no project section at the very bottom. These subtasks actually are part of a project, but because they're subtasks, Asana uh, sorts them into the no project category. So you're not even fully seeing all the tasks that you perhaps should. So really what that boils down to is, is I can sort by none, which is just going to be this massive list. And if I want to, I can actually say, you know, show me by start date. So at very minimum now I can, you know, see this due date or start date and I can kind of see this sort and then I've got this massive list. Of course, you know, if you study psychology at all, you understand that um, when we have, when we see 
uh, information or data in, in chunks that are greater than 8 or 10 or 12, uh, our brains actually don't function as optimally. So Fred Flintstone, I feel bad for him because if he's looking at his to-do list this way, uh, he's just not thinking as clearly as he could because he's overwhelmed information overload. And of course, the problem is still remains. He's trying to figure out the things he wants to do. Maybe he wants to create the signs, research caters, fill out data, and build the information respond assets, which he can't do because that one's blocked. So maybe review the demo uh, with the team. So here are four tasks that I've selected. He wants to work on these. These are the things that he wants to work on today. Uh, of course, the problem is, is he's going to go ahead and begin working on the signs for the day of the event. He's going to come back to his to-do list later. And now he's like, now what were the other three things that I wanted to do today? All right, so let me show you how we're going to do this. First of all, we're going to sort I'm sorry, we're going to group uh, by custom sections. Second of all, we're going to make sure we're sorting by start date or due date. Now, Asana usually creates sections in here. If you don't see these sections in here, then that's possibly because uh, you have deleted those sections or they need to be created by you. So make sure you're in custom sections and then you go ahead and create these. Now Asana is going to create this one. It's going to say, um, I think this one says due today. So I, I renamed that one. Sorry. This is what you're going to see when you, you come in for the first time. So let's talk about the sections and then we're going to talk about how to use them. And then we're very, very important. Watch to the end because we're also going to create some rules or automations so that Asana will automatically work for us. It's kind of like hiring a virtual assistant to manage our tasks. All right. The first thing we see is recently assigned. You'll see that I've opened due today, due later, and due in a week. And none of these uh, sections have any tasks. That's because Asana initially will always put um, uh, your tasks into this recently assigned. So any task that's been assigned to you for the first time or any at, at any time, they always roll into the recently assigned section first. The goal of the recently assigned, you see again, I'm super overwhelmed here. Uh, so I like to tell people, think of recently assigned as you know your mailbox, right? The, you, nobody goes to the mailbox and, and takes the mail out of the mailbox and then puts some of it back in. We don't take the mail out and pull out the bills or, or the birthday card that we want and then put the rest of it back in. No, we always empty the mailbox. Um, we always take everything out so it's empty for the next time uh, more mail comes in. Same thing applies with recently assigned. We want to empty out our recently assigned ideally every day. Well, what are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to go ahead and organize them into these three sections. Now, when you have a lot of tasks like this, sometimes you might feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to wait for another day. But I'm going to show you how quickly this can be done. If you just understand how to select a, a whole bunch of tasks at once, it'll be something that you can do literally in 20 seconds or less. All right. So uh, right now I have three sections due today, due in a week and due later. I've mentioned this is kind of like our mailbox. Let's talk about these other three sections quickly. The due today section is not to be confused with due today. Uh, rather, this is our to do list. OK, the, this is our to-do list uh, for today, right? The goal of this right here is going to be where we're going to put those seven things that we want to get when we go to the grocery store, right? Th these are the things that we want to get. So this is our to-do list for the day. This is right here. These are tasks that are need to be done in a week, or maybe you can even say do uh, within a week. Sometimes I like to say, and then these are tasks that are due later. I'm not going to really care about these tasks. These are going to be tasks that are due down the road. Now, I personally like to add one more do within three days. I add this one and I kind of drag it right up here between these two items so I can see tasks that are due within three days. So let's go ahead and triage or organize these tasks very quickly. You'll see uh, how we can do it. So first of all, I've got this build demo assets. It's due July 26th through 28th. I don't need to worry about that right now. It's well, actually I do. It's due in a couple of days. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this into due within three days. And then this one right here is due today. So I'm going to go put, ahead and put it in the to-do list for today. These tasks that are due tomorrow, I'm going to throw them all into due within three days. And I think you kind of get the idea. These tasks that are due um, within the next week, I'm going to highlight all of them and 
go ahead and put them into the next week. Now, I've been doing this kind of fast. There's a couple ways that you can highlight a bunch of tasks at once. One is to click and drag. I can just click in one place and drag the rest. Now, that doesn't always work if you click in the wrong place. So I like to tell people instead, perhaps just put your uh, cursor at the top task that you want to highlight. Hold the shift key on your keyboard and highlight the bottom task, and it will highlight all the tasks in between. You can see five tasks are selected. As a matter of fact, Asan has created this little black bar to basically let me do a bunch of things to those five tax tasks in mass, okay, all at once in bulk. So I could click on this up and down arrow key to move it to different sections, and I'm going to move these to the do later, or I can just go ahead and highlight, uh, click over any of these up and down arrow keys to move the task between sections. So now I'm going to go ahead and literally highlight the rest of these tasks uh, because they're all due later, and I'm going to move them all into due later, and now you'll see my recently assigned is now nice and empty. My mailbox is empty. The next time someone assigns something to me, it will show up there and it'll be very quick for me to go ahead and move it. Now, what do we do with the rest of these sections? So this is supposed to be my to-do list for today. It's not just um, tasks that are due today. It's the things that I want to do. Now, I do a little bit of college uh, professoring on the side. I teach a, a few college courses at, uh, as an adjunct uh, professor. And you know, one of the things that we do and, and as professors is we assign uh, students to write papers. And everyone knows that if I write, ask you to write a 15-page paper, you better not work on it for the first time on the day that it's due, right? So what we're going to do is ideally on a daily basis, we're gonna just very quickly open up due within three days and due within a week. And we're going to, uh, we got that right there, we'll just fix that due within in a week. And we're gonna just very quickly say, is there anything I want to work on today. So this build demo assets, um, I'm stuck right now. Someone else is working on it. I can't actually work on it yet because it's blocked. But I want to go ahead and uh, delegate, um, maybe work on the caters and delegate some activities to the team. So I held control key on my keyboard or command if you're using a Mac. And uh, I highlighted those two tasks. And I also want to fill out some data on this build demo assets form that we've created. So I've highlighted three tasks. I'm going to go ahead and either drag or just move them up to my to-do list for today. And now I've looked at this. I've kind of made sure there's nothing else that's up and coming that I want to work on today. I'm going to go ahead and collapse these sections. And now I feel like I am in control. I feel like, hey, I know what I'm supposed to work on. I can go other places and I can browse to other places here inside of Asana. But I know that when I come back to my tasks, I'm going to very quickly be able to see what my to-do lists are for today. And of course, I'll be able to work on them and mark them off as done and feel like I'm making progress. At the end of the day, if I mark everything as done and I have time to spare, I can even dive into some other things and feel like I'm ahead of the game instead of, of course, feeling like I'm constantly behind the game by looking at this massive list. Now, there's one more very important thing that we need to know how to do, and that is to hire Asana <laughs> to do something for me. I want hire to actually I want Asana to actually uh, move these tasks for me because what's going to be really frustrating is when tomorrow gets here, these tasks here are due tomorrow, but when tomorrow is today, I don't want them sitting in the do within three days section anymore. I want Asana to move them up to the to-do list for today. So I, I, and I don't want to have to manually do that. So we're going to create some rules whereby Asana will automatically move tasks up the ladder, as it were, from each of these sections into the next one based on the due date. So again, as an example, we've got this task right here, um, and it's due on Tuesday. Uh, within the next week. So three days from Tuesday, Asana is going to automatically move that task from do within a week to do within three days. Asana will just move it up there. And then when Tuesday gets here, when today is Tuesday, Asana will again move that task into the to-do list for today. So I can very quickly see the tasks that are do today that I need to be uh, focusing on. And of course, what that means is, is I don't really need to worry about all of these other tasks that are due later, unless there's something in here that I know I need to be working on. And in that case, I might give them it a start and end date so that I can make sure that um, it, I'm going to be able to focus on it sooner than later. Uh, other than those event, those activities, the rest of these, I'm just not going to think about or work on, worry about. Um, so let's talk about how to create those rules. And incidentally, 
Usually I keep all of the sections closed except for my to-do list for today. So the rules are very simple. We're gonna click on customize up in the top corner while we're in my tasks. We're gonna click on rules and we're gonna click add rule. Now, if you're a guest like Fred Flintstone is, then you're only going to see one option. If you're not a guest, it's okay. You're gonna see a whole bunch of options, but you're looking for the same one. Due date is approaching, move task to a certain section. So what that does is it puts us into this rule mode where um, basically I have an if then statement. If this happens, then this that happens, if then. And I can actually rename this if I want to. Usually I don't, it's not necessary, but if I wanted to, I can say, um, do today, you know, or something like that. I can give the, the rule a, a, a name. So I'm going to come in and click on due date is approaching and say, what is uh, the information on this trigger? It's due today. So it's already selected for me. What do I want to have happen? What's the action? So I'm going to click on the action and say, I want Asana to automatically move the task to to do list for today. So when the task is due today, just please move it in to this section here. I'm gonna create that rule and we see we've created it. Now we've got this little lightning bolt here and we can see that task is right there applied to that section. We're gonna go ahead and create a number of other rules. So we're gonna just keep doing this. I'm going to go ahead and say one day before, let's go ahead and put it in the do within three days section, create that rule. And we'll do, hey, how about two days before? What if the task is due two days before? This one I have to create a custom rule but I'm gonna go ahead and create that rule and say move it into two within three days. And you kind of get the idea. We're just gonna keep rolling uh, out to each of, these, um, each of these rules until we've done uh, a full week is what I recommend. So I'm doing now, I'm doing do within one, if it's one week before, then go ahead and move it to the do within a week section. But then I do four, five, and six. So um, if it's four days before, and the reason why we do this is so that if something gets, a due date gets moved or changed, we want Asana to know that and to go ahead and fix it, to update that. Now, when does Asana fire these rules? Asana is going to fire these rules at midnight uh, every day. So at midnight every day, Asana is going to see that the time or the date has changed and Asana is going to go ahead and, and fire that rule. It does not fire at any other Time. So now I have gone ahead and created a number of rules that are going to basically take care of the first week's worth of, uh, of, of rules. So Asana is going to roll all those dates up for me automatically. Don't need to worry about it or think about it anymore. This empowers me and gives me the ability to focus on the things that ultimately I want to focus on. All right, so that's how you use my tasks, in my opinion, one of the most effective and meaningful ways to utilize my tasks as a to-do list, no longer having to use these spiral notebooks or various other things. Again, it's equivalent to me going to the store with the seven things that I plan to get at the store. I, I know what I want to get at the store. In the same way, every day you want to focus on the things that are important to you that day. You don't want to get sidelined or sidetracked by a tyranny of the urgent or by tasks that other people have given you or tasks that you would like to do because they're kind of fun or enjoyable as opposed to the ones that are really important that you should be focusing on. So using this method in Asana is going to allow us to focus and get the things done we need to get done. This is gonna help you individually, and if you, the people on your team can grasp this concept as well, it will actually streamline productivity for your entire organization. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you found this helpful, feel free to like this video and subscribe. Have a great, great day. Bye now.